identifying polar and nonpolar covalent bonds with electronegativities. In this problem, it says uh, element X has an electronegativity of 3.30. Element Y has an electronegativity of 3.25. The molecule XY is then best described as an ionic bond, a polar covalent bond, a nonpolar covalent bond, metallic bond, or double bond. So when we see this problem, we should think that we, find, we need to know the difference in the electronegativities to see what's happening between the atoms. So when the difference between electronegativities is smaller, so from 0, from 0, .0 to about 0 0.4, we call that an nonpolar covalent bond because the difference in electronegativity is not really enough to create a dipole moment. So nonpolar covalent or a polar bond. But when the difference gets bigger around 0 0.5 or 0 0.4 to 0 0.4 to 1.6, when that difference is happening, then it, it becomes a polar covalent bond. Not enough to become an ionic bond, but what's happening there is that the electrons are going to be attracted to one atom more than the other atoms. So this would be considered polar covalent when that difference is that much. So the difference in electronegativity is going to give us is going to give us the answer to this problem. And difference means we're going to subtract the electronegativities to find out the answer. So and if it is more than 1.7, we have to know one more thing. If it is 1.7 or above, it's usually considered an ionic bond, or ionic bonding is going to happen between these atoms. So let's find out the difference and see in which category this molecule falls. So 3.3 minus 3.25 is going to get me a difference of about 0.8. Zero, five, and usually the differences are not that small. They're much, they're bigger. But here, this is showing us that there's a pretty small difference, which is just to indicate that it is between zero point zero and zero point four, which means it's a nonpolar covalent bond. And C would be the answer to our question.